Welcome back to Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. I'm David the Good. Today, we are going to open jackfruit the Asian lady way. So last week, you got to watch Rachel kind of butcher her way through a jackfruit. And not really a nice butchering, but we did get the fruit out of it and it was delicious. So we asked for some help. A big thanks to David's mom and to Annalyn and to Daniel for providing multiple links to videos on opening jackfruit. We pulled in two jackfruit yesterday and I have two more in the tree right now I need to cut down, one of which I think is too far gone. But let's take those down and then we'll go inside and we'll find the prettiest one for Rachel to cut up again, the Asian lady way. Though I'm not cool enough to be Asian myself, I'm trying. This one here is really big and it's not quite ready but it's starting to split at the top so I'm gonna take it down and let it ripen on the counter so we don't lose that. But I'm gonna leave this millipede outside. We don't eat millipedes. Don't eat that millipede, it won't end well. <laughs> Smart dog. See, this one's got fruit flies in it already and it's not looking all that hot. The top of it may be all right. Maybe some good in there. There may be some good left in him. Hi, we're back and we're gonna open another jackfruit. Obviously, we did it the difficult way last time. We had so many nice comments in the comment section from the previous video on how to do it the easy way that we thought, okay, well, the next time we get a good jackfruit, we're gonna try the easy way. So, um, I think the first thing was not to oil my hands because it makes it too slippery. So um, I'm not going to do that. But I will oil the blade of the knife. Next, we're going to cut it long ways and then cut it long ways again. You'll see. Basically, we're just going to cut them into quarters. So now we have one quarter, and we're going to cut the center core out. Obviously, this uh, portion here doesn't look particularly good any longer but we're just gonna, we'll just cut it out. The rest of it still looks good. You can tell here it really does look like a relative of breadfruit. Very similar inner core with the little dots around it. Very, very similar to breadfruit. All right, now pull it back and apart like that to sort of pop open the edible pieces here. There we go. That is a good edible portion right there. One of my kids said, Mom, are you going to eat any of it on the film? I think they were afraid I was going to eat the whole thing before they could get any. Oh, here's a big one. I think I didn't actually cut out enough of that core. Mm. 
Now I get to see the really neat part. This one is completely closed up and inside is the seed. Isn't that neat? So that's the edible portion. It has these sort of little tentacles wrapped around the fruit. You don't want to let it go. There it goes. Perhaps even at this point there's an easier way to do it that I don't know. <laughs> so if you know, you can tell me. I'll just do the same thing with the remaining three sections and we'll be finished and we'll get to enjoy our feast of jackfruit. So thank you all very much for your uh, advice. Oh, and the advice of, of putting your hands in the dry rice. I tried that last night and it seems to work pretty well. I, I probably have to do it a few more times to, uh, to get the hang of it and it's supposed to get the sticky off. Um, so that was that was good advice too. So thank you all for the really good advice and if you have even more good advice, we always love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com and keep encouraging Rachel to do cooking shows because <laughs> I think it would be awesome. Catch you next time. Until then, may your thumbs always be green. Bye-bye. Crazy cause it's making me lazy and I'm hazy in my head I need some boom caffeine